Good morning again, it's uh, the 1st of July and uh, I decided to take a day to actually come to Bryce Canyon um, and I was practical about the approach because it was 3 miles into the park and then 15 miles that was going to be 18 and multiply times 2, 36 miles so instead of doing that what I did is I decided to get on a shuttle that way I will be able to cover a little bit more of the uh, scenic um, viewpoints and right now we are at Sunset Point uh, and the landscape speaks for itself. Um, I'm going to spend some time going through the different uh, important parts of the park and uh, then I will be returning and getting back on my trike. At this point in time, I think today I will only be able to ride all the way to Escalante. I was thinking maybe Boulder, but uh, it's going to take me uh, a few hours. But this is one place that is unique in the world. You see those hoodoos over there. Um, you don't find them um, in other canyons in in either the pattern or or the magnitude that you s see them here so um this is all for now i will catch you later well hello again and here we're looking at um, one of the grottos uh, overlooking bryce point and this is done by wind and mainly water flush floods during the summer and uh, different sediment some which is actually softer and other which is harder so that's why you are able to get those arches um, it's the soft sediment that actually erodes away um, I'm going to just walk here at the edge it's again out of this world it is it is a wonder and I'm very very happy that in 1924 uh, Congress decided to make this a national park to preserve it. So the, the rules are very strict with regards to feeding animals and with regards to littering and, and that's the way it should be because it is, it is really a, these assets belong to our children and our children's children. So we're just simply the custodians. We're the caretakers for now, the temporary caretakers. It, that little town that you see there in the distance, that is Tropic. I was actually thinking of uh, yesterday of making it there, but then I would be uh, missing out on seeing the views from this part of the park. And again, being that I'm so close to it, it would make no sense to come all the way here and just for a few miles not jumping on a shuttle it would be it would be foolish <coughs> so over here we we see more um, hoodies um, I mean hoodoos hoodoos I'm sorry I mispronounced that hoodoos which are these um, columns that rise up and through erosion um, and the different layers, they are basically, with time, they change. They change about a foot every 100 years. Um, the weather here is extreme. Winter lasts into the late spring, and so you have the action of the ice and then the high temperatures of the summer, and then the sediment. And so you have erosion here at work doing uh, nature's art. That's what it is, nature's heart. Okay, um, well, I'm coming up to the three-minute mark, so uh, I will catch you later.